Hello from my name is Yellow and welcome back to episode 68 of my WWE 2K14 Universe Mode. And we are back on Raw. We are exactly one week away from the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. And I found out after last episode that Santino will only hold his briefcase for one week. Because after the Money in the Bank match that happens at the pay-per-view, it will disappear. So that means on either NXT or Superstars... Santino will cash in because he is part of NXT. I don't want him switching brands to Raw or SmackDown. So he will cash in on either NXT or Superstars. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there in either next episode next episode or two episodes time. But anyway, the rivalries on NXT and Superstars have ended. And at the end of this episode, we will see the new NXT rivalries that will be set up for the next month. But anyway... <clears throat> we are on Raw, and I've already showed you this match card at the end of the last episode. And we are going to be playing the one, the only, uh, triple threat match between Damon Sander, Wade Barrett, and The Miz. It's a number one contenders match. Now, I don't know if that number one contendership is for CM Punk's WWE Championship or Kofi's United States Championship. I'm... What the hell is Jimmy Uso doing as number one contender for CM Punk's championship? What is that? Uh, I'm guessing, yeah, yeah, it's it's number one contender for the US championship, and that match will most likely happen at Money in the Bank. So let's skip the other matches and predict some outcomes here. So first match, we have Brodus Clay versus Kofi Kingston, and I'm gonna say the main event player, Brodus Clay. No, Kofi, of course, picked up the win. Of course, I should have predicted that. Alright, next match we have Seth Rollins versus Jimmy Uso. And I'm gonna give it to Jimmy. And he does pick up the win, alright. What is this? Jimmy Uso returned a measure of payback against Seth Rollins. Alright. Not bad. Got one correct, one not correct. So one for two right now. Next match we have the tag team match. Sinkar and Rey Mysterio versus the Real Americans. And I'm gonna give it to the Real Americans. No, Rey Mysterio picked up the win for his team. Wow. Sinkar and Rey Mysterio fired back with an attack of their own against champions Jack Swagger and Antonio Cesaro. Will we see new champions at the pay-per-view? I don't know, it's been a long time since we've seen a title change at all. But anyway, in the main event we have CM Punk versus Ryback, and I'm gonna say CM Punk. And he does pick up the win. Alright, I got two right out of four. How many did you get? Leave a comment. But what does this say? The championship rivalry between CM Punk and Ryback has exploded! Out of control. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm gonna be playing this triple threat number one contenders match for the US Championship between Damien Sandow, Wade Barrett, and The Miz. So let's get to it. The following triple threat contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. From Manchester, England, weighing 246 pounds, Wayne Barrett. Here comes the former Bare Knuckles champion and owner of the Barrett Barrage. Completely the highest. 
weighing 231 pounds, The Miz! Listen to this WWE Universe! They've been waiting all night to see their favorite superstar. Alright, so we're in the match now with Barrett, Damien Sandow, and The Miz, and I'm gonna be The Miz. Alright. Out of all three people in this match, The Miz was the person I wanna be the least. But whatever, we are gonna be The Miz. And Damien Sandow and Wade Barrett both wearing some custom superstar threads in this one. Whereas The Miz decided not to, even though I'm pretty sure I have made some superstar threads for him. God damn it, Miz. One job! Anyway, we are going to double team here on Damon Sandow, and I am actually surprised that we have these three battling it out for the US Championship, because let's face it, both the WWE, the, the United States Championship and Intercontinental Championship have meant nothing for a long, long time now, and <clears throat> it seems like every mid-carder doesn't even care about the mid-card championship, they all want to be in the main event or nothing and it seems like you know we have no legit mid carders who actually want the championships which is why both championships mean nothing right now they really don't in actual wrestling business like who honestly cares about Big E's <coughs> Intercontinental Championship or Dean Ambrose's US Championship no one challenges them at all the Big E's kind of in a feud but even then who's he against again um I actually can't remember who he's in a feud against. I haven't watched Raw for a while, and I can't remember hearing anything interesting happening with Big E at all. Um, so, you know, that's kind of out of the question. But, you know, either way, no one's no one's interested in trying to get the mid-card championships, and that's why they mean nothing, and that's why no one cares about them. It's because WWE aren't booking people to go after those mid-card championships. Like, for example, when was the last time Dean Ambrose defended his US championship? I mean, I know he's part of the Shield, and they're meant to be like this all big group who are unstoppable and all this stuff. You know, you just can't take them down, and that's maybe why WWE have thought that no one would try and challenge Dean Ambrose because of the sh other Shield members. But it can't be like that, and he needs to lose the belt at some point to someone who you know is gonna be able to go it on their own without need and rematch after rematch and all this stuff no too much back and forth and everything they just need a legit person like put Damien Sando in there put Wade Barrett in there even The Miz you know just give like either one of these three that are in this match could hold that US or Intercontinental Championship and make it mean something because all of them well Damien Sandow and Wade Barrett are good enough to be in the main event, but since there is only one championship now, that's just not going to happen. At least for a very, very long time, because, you know, it's going to be Randy Orton, Cena, Daniel Bryan, and whoever else they put up there in the main event picture for a long, long time, Sheamus included. And, you know, they should they should never have put the two championships together. That just gives mid-carders even less chance of making it up to the main card, being in main events, doing... Uh, title matches for the main championships because it's just not going to happen anymore with just the one belt because there is too many big names and the mid carders are never going to get anywhere because of it which means they need to start pushing people like Del Rio like Sheamus like Wade Barrett and others into that mid card picture which again they still haven't even started to do yet even people like Big Show would be good in the main event going for a mid-card championship. Make the belts mean something again by having some main event as want the belt. That's how it works. That's how it would work. And that's how you bring legitimacy back to the mid-card championships. By having main event as want the belts. Ah, it's simple as that. You know, it's not too difficult to work out. And Wade Barrett is no sell in the, uh, the, the skill crushing finale there. Kicking out before one. But you know, that, that's how it would work. If they put main event as like Sheamus and Del Rio going after those mid-card belts, then they would actually mean something again. 
but it seems like everyone needs that big big one championship belt or nothing at all which is why it's just not gonna work and I don't know why Miz is so injured I honestly don't understand I let Wade Barrett hit his finisher oh and he's gonna try and drag him in and I will steal the win steal it Wade there we go I to grab sand out sand out he's down stealing it one and he kicked out a one what the hell Wade Barrett kicked out it before one from Miz's finisher and now Damien Sando kicking out at one from Wade Barrett's finisher. I wouldn't kick out at one. The Miz is very injured right now and I don't even know why. I haven't been playing bad or anything. Oh my god. I knew you could roll him up right now and I wouldn't get up in time. Oh my god. Just fighting back and forth. Who's going to get the hand? It looks like it's going to be Wade Barrett. And kick him down. Oh, missed. No, Wade Barrett's going to take me down as well. It's like playing online with the run moves. I was standing right next to him and he still decided, you know what, let's hit a run move. And he's going to go for a pin off that. Good thing Sandow was there. Could have missed it. Right, Wade. There we go. Let's do some tag team moves to Sandow. Oh, taking him down. All right, Sandow's pretty injured. Oh, big counter from Damien? I don't think so. That was the Miz taking down Wade Barrett, but whatever. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yes, he's not focused on me. He's not... Okay, maybe he was. Maybe he was. That was a really long taunt, Miz. Come on, now. You know you can't taunt for that long. Oh. Swing around, and... Neckbreaker. There we go. Take down Barrett now. Or not. He can take me down. Whatever. Whatever. Whatever works. Oh, Oh! what a reversal by Wade Barrett taking down Sandow. And he's got a signature. And Miz is pretty injured right now. He could win off that signature. Oh my god, get up, Miz. There we go. Oh, steal it. Oh no. I took down the ref. Even better. Even better. Actually, wait. It's a triple threat match. I should be able to use weapons anyway, shouldn't I? I think. Yeah. Should be no disqualification. No one can win by disqualification. Oh. Oh! Oh! Just keep swinging, Miz! Oh my god, I bust him open. And. Oh! Oh yeah, like Miz would be able to do that. Come on now! Oh! Right onto that chair! Oh my god! Right onto the chair! Everyone's got finishers! Everyone's got finishers! No! No! Oh wait, this isn't a finisher. Did I click my wake up taunt though? I feel like I might have because mine's flashing and Wade Barrett's going for a pin. <gasps> Damien, I think, it, yeah, he was. He's going for a finish. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Get out of here. Sand out. Going down. Oh, my God. Both men are down. And Miz is going to pin Sand out. One, two, three. And Miz steals it. Miz steals the win. Wow, what a win for the Miz. And he's now the number one contender for who's who's the champion here is it Kofi Kingston for Kofi Kingston's US championship wow well done Miz well done Miz yeah some replays from this match there's a good uh, spine buster from Wade Barrett sit down spine buster I completely forgot you can use weapons in triple threat matches completely forgot about it but it worked to my advantage busting open Sandow and taking down Wade Barrett and you know, after Sandow hit his finish on Wade Barrett, it was enough for me to hit the Skull Crushing finale on, <coughs> on Sandow. And that was good enough for the win. So is this just going to be a default end? And it is. It's going to be the Miz's end. And the Miz. What an incredible match is right, King. Or was it cool? I think it might have been cool who said that there. And Miz looks alright that he got the win. <laughs> I'm ecstatic that I've just picked a win in a triple threat match and this is a new number one contender for a championship. Ecstatic, but Miz, not too bothered. You know, as he should be. <laughs> but yeah, who was the champion again? It was, yeah, Kofi Kingston, of course. But anyway, next episode is NXT. So let's have a look at the match card and the new rivalries that will be set up. So, we have, for the NXT Championship, we have Jinder Mahal and Carly. Wow, alright, let's change that four weeks. 
Jinder Mahal and Carly for the championship. Jinder Mahal, Carly. This happened in real life. Because they're meant to be like half brothers or something. We also have Tammy Zinn versus Tyler Breeze again for another four weeks. Okay. And then finally 3MB versus Team Cobro yet again for the NXT Championship. Do we not have any more tag teams on NXT? Let's have a look at the teams here. We have... Um, well, these two are both on NXT. Yeah, I see. Wait, we have the Wyatt family on NXT. Los Matadors are also on NXT. Hmm. I'm going to change that. Who is the NXT tag? It's 3MB. Okay. I'm not going to have Team Cobra. I'm going to have Los Matadors. For a change, you know. Alright, so Drew McIntyre. Heath Slater versus Los Matadors. Diego and Fernando. Where is he? There he is. Fernando. For four weeks. And we will keep the Sami Zayn Tyler Breeze rivalry continuing. And on the next episode, we will see the new superstar rivalries. But let's have a look at the match card. We have Eric Rowan versus Adrian Neville. Cassius Erno and Zack Ryder versus Luke Harper and Curtis Axel. Interesting teams. Carly versus David Otunga. Tyler Breeze versus Sami Zayn. And in the main event, we have 3MB. Versus Los Matadors. Now, which match would you like to see me play on the next episode? Leave a comment, and the most commented match will be the one I play in the next episode. But other than that, please like up the video, subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you next time.